Vamos <risos> back. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know if anybody uh, ever had a bug. As in, and I just, oops, dropped my vapey thing here. Hang on. I'm just looking at this bug, and I can't believe that as a kid, I used to be able to fit in the back here with my brother, two of us, in that little, you know, you can barely, it's barely big enough to hold typical luggage. Well, my fat butt will not fit in there now. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice bug. It's a liter model, but boy, it's in good shape. Let me go check out this rib again, just before he uh, leaves. Um, oh my god, there is just a killer, killer tubbed Camaro coming in. But here's that rib. I was filming this and I ran out of memory in my uh, other... There he goes. Check it out. I ran out of memory and I had to go back to the car and get another memory stick to put in. 64. Listen to that. Have a nail head type engine. I can't remember if it was that year. Wow, that's something else. Torino. Torino? Is this a Torino? Uh, that's not a Torino engine. What is that? What engine is this? It's not a Ford, is it? Yeah, I think it is. He updated the motor with a more modern uh, fuel injected motor. That's nice. Grand Torino. Dual exhaust, hey, look at that. Eh? Torinos you don't see much anymore. I mean, you know, stars get touch, but. Yeah, that's cool. So he's got an aftermarket engine man, man it. Ooh, it's ever noisy out. An aftermarket engine management system in there, so it's a nice upgrade. Let's see what else we can see here. I mean, some of the cars, some of the cars I, uh, I've seen before, they're all nice. I mean, I don't mind looking at them again. Yeah, so we're talking about big boats here. Fury, Plymouth Fury convertible. Big boy here. I mean, I gotta back up. I gotta back up to Highway 7 to get it into the, into my camera view here. You know, I stepped away from here. I was talking to a lovely lady about uh, her old Packard. A lot of cars changed around here. There's uh, a few guys that have, uh, uh, you know, I want to bring the cars closer to the center of the chaos and mayhem. Oh, that bet sounds good. Ah, you know what? I think I saw that bet last night. has dart heads in it, so I'm going to imagine it's uh, done up, put dart heads on, you're going to be doing other things to it. Ooh wee i got to get off the road here. Let's see, race it up a bit. There you go. Alright, go ahead. It's okay, guys. Courteous 
people here who didn't want to walk in front of my camera. I don't care. And behind is that uh, old Ford station wagon, apparently. Yeah, this place to stand. It looks like a. Oh, that's a nice Corvette. Oh. Oh, I love that gear. There you go, a Porsche with a silent E, like a Chevelle with a silent E. GTA. Oh. Uh, motion. It's not a motion Camaro, but it looks like one. Has that same paint job. Oh, so quiet. Yeah. Have a nice vet. New one coming up. Oh, I thought it was a new one. Monty SS. Yeah. You can see the cars in the background there. Just looking at it. you know, I didn't even walk around the whole lot here to kind of see what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you if you're here, there's usually nice cars in behind here. I didn't even walk behind or on the side. It's been uh, an unusual day. Okay, it's safe to come over, cross over. That looks good. Oh, okay, this is eye catcher. Yeah, I haven't been here. Trans Am. Trans Am. H O. Ah, four speed in it. Oh, it's cool. He's got the same rims. Wow, same rims. The honeycombs. Is that what they're called? Yeah, that looks great. Hey. Nice. That's pretty cool, eh? Hey, yeah, uh, back to this uh, rumble feed here. I was gonna pause, I'm just gonna keep it rolling. Yeah, it's quiet down. Well, quiet down. Give me a break. It's uh, noisy on Highway 7, but it's quiet down on the lot here. A lot of the cars uh, calling in a night. Or maybe the start of a night. And heading to another little local uh, cruise spot. Probably going up to Piazza del Sol. Oh, I love those. Hey, I... Oh, my God. So... These are true spoke. So I'm just curious about this because my car, I have hubcaps that are spoke. These are the true spoke. They look really good. I kind of like the look on those for certain. Not every car can have spokes that looks good. Some cars, they need spokes. They look just right.
<laughs> well, that's a nice little ride here. I'll go on this side. I think the light's a bit better to see it. I'm not using any kind of flashlight or anything. Well, what can I tell you about this? Nice big holly on a tall ramp. Uh, this looks good. Probably can't see that, but it looks like uh, he has an automatic. But <laughs> this thing means business. Oh, check it out. Hey, he does have a half decent fuel system there. He has an uh, aftermarket uh, fuel pumping system. Yeah, that's nice. Two of them? This one is 401. Four hundred one AMC. I don't think it's a four hundred one anymore. Offenhauser, yeah, you don't see Offenhauser uh, parts uh, very often. Seventy-one. Uh, you know, I'd like to show you the inside. It's just too dark. Where is that thing? I'm trying to find something to show you. Hang on. There we go. AMC? AMX. Sorry, I said AMC. AMX. We got another AMX here. It's a unique grill on this one. I think that was added on later for the bugs. If you're going for your long trip up to, uh, say, Algonquin Park or Wasega or something. Prevent the bug snurts. That uh, looks good, nice blue. And it seems to be pretty serious build. I think I see traction bars. Yeah, he's got traction bars. You don't put those there unless you had a problem at one point, which means you had a lot of power. And it wouldn't behave. Hey, discovering an AMX here. Runs tens, by the way. I was looking at the interior. Check the interior out. What kind of interior? Who'd make that? He showed me the emblem right here. Pierre Cardin. Oh! I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to figure out. Where's my finger? Here, I'm going to follow my finger. There it is right there. There's the emblem. Pierre Cardin. And uh, factory uh, interior. I thought it was, uh, you know, did this on its own, but check out the back here. I don't know if, I hope I can see this later on. Pierre Cardin. Uh, he's telling me a little bit about the motor on here. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that's so nice. So it runs like a 10-2. He showed me a picture of it doing a wheelie, so... Uh, he was telling me about the spec on the camshaft. Unbelievable. It's like in the two, 260 degrees duration at 050. Sorry, what was the cam spec again? 608. 263 duration. 263 duration. So, and uh, this this is happy around 6,000 RPM up. And that's it's, it's 68. <laughs> Crazy. AMX. The other guys is the other guy car. It's not one of your. Uh, there's a gentleman there, uh, play dirty guy, the Jeep. Nice car, showed me a picture of it uh, launching. Yeah, and the front tires on this thing here were uh, a foot off the ground on a trans brake. Releases the trans brake at 5,000 RPM. 5,000 RPM! That's what I shift my motor at. And then he lets this thing scream up to uh, second limiters at 7,500. Yeah. A M C A M X. It's A M X. It's got the drag radials on there. 
Wow, that was awesome. So, old school vet. Is it old school or is it modern? It's a Corvette. Convertible. Oh, yeah. Seven liters of naturally aspirated madness. Seven liters, 427, right? That's the displacement on, four, on seven. Yee. Oh, my God. This thing must haul. Oh, I love the setup. He's done some conversions there. I think he's got a different math on there. Look at the Corvette. Oh. Malibu. What I like, what he did about this. Look at that, yeah. 427 there on the hood. Can you see it? My stupid camera is all like, there we go, 427. So he's taken the uh, old school that and updated it with uh, LS. A big one. You know what year this is? I I'll get it confused. I got the year. I won't even say. You guys know the years on the Corvettes. I am not familiar. But he, oh, here this one he's at it. Yeah, a seven emblem. <laughs> Where the old uh, probably the old V8 symbol symbol was. Nice little setup on the wheels. There you go, you can see it less now. Lots of pictures. Oh, I just took it in the main. Well, that looks good. It looks good. Just like this. Malibu. It has a teeny weeny 396. Oh. Yeah, it looks good, eh? We got a uh, twin turbo. That's nice. Those old bends. Buy turbo there. I've seen those things go. They all, they all ass. He's funny. <laughs> Well, I was going to see if he's going to go, but you know how it is. Once you get talking. Ugh, the tires are huge. Well, they're going to wrap it up soon. That's pretty cool. I think a few guys are leaving now. We got a 6.1 Hemi hiding in this SRT that looks so good. All right, here we go. Oh, 
454 Chevelle SS. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, he's got the 14 inch uh, rally tires. 14. So I was talking to somebody. I mean, some people know connections with tires now. But I had a hell of a time trying to find 14 inch tires for my car. And I see the Chevelle, it had a uh, 14 on it. And uh, yeah, you know, I um, kind of hesitant to do these big, <laughs> do a, a big burnout every now and then because uh, replacing the tires. 14 inch were, were uh, kind of hard to get. There was uh, disruptions in the shipping and manufacturing with the, the whole COVID nonsense. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. So we're in a good spot here. If they come by, I see a nice vet just leaving there. And we got a few stangs, three stangs. I don't know what he's got for exhaust, but there's somebody there barking quite the raspy uh, exhaust note. There we go. Porsche was a GT. I think I saw a 350 on that thing. Yeah, this one sounds good. That's a different exhaust node. Here we, go. Oh, here we go, a couple more here. Yeah, I had a neat exhaust node. Crispy. 